Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. FBI director demands immunity now. Clinton's on brink of going down after what's handed over. News broke overnight that former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe is requesting legal immunity in exchange for his testimony on the agency's handling of the investigation into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server. This is huge news. That means that it's just as corrupt as all of us suspected it was. Not only could it take the Clintons down, but whole bunch of people in the intelligence agencies and the Department of Justice. Good times. McCabe's lawyer wrote to Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley, are ya? yesterday seeking a guarantee of immunity for McCabe's testimony before the panel. His attorney says that his client will plead the fifth if prompted to testify otherwise. Now, that's telling. Could it be this thing is finally going to get blown wide open and the nasty little corrupt sausage making details exposed? I certainly hope so. Mr. McCabe is willing to testify, but because of the criminal referral, he must be afforded suitable legal protection, Michael Bromwich, McCabe's legal counsel, wrote to Grassley according to CNN. Of course this is CNN we are referring to on this being leaked, so we will just have to see how it all plays out. This is a textbook case for granting use immunity, if this committee is unwilling or unable to obtain such an order, then Mr. McCabe will have to no choice but to invoke his Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination. It's either cut bait or fish here and at this point, I would give this guy immunity depending on what he has to offer up if it convicts the rest of these corruptocrats, especially Hillary Clinton. Bromwich's letter also makes clear that McCabe is willing to provide emails that demonstrate that Mr. McCabe advised former Director Comey, in October 2016, that Mr. McCabe was working with FBI colleagues to correct inaccuracies before certain media stories were published. Yeah, I bet he was. Grassley wrote to the FBI requesting that McCabe be released from a non-disclosure agreement that prevents him from providing the emails being requested, among other records. If McCabe invokes his Fifth Amendment right instead of answering certain questions, it could set up a contentious confrontation with lawmakers. They could serve him with a subpoena and if he continues to refuse to testify, lawmakers could pursue a contempt resolution against him and refer the matter for prosecution by the D.C. U.S. Attorney's Office or enforce the subpoena through civil action in federal court. McCabe has been under investigation via criminal referral from the FBI's Inspector General. They have reportedly found that McCabe acted inappropriately by leaking information to a reporter and then lying about it to then-FBI Director James Comey. He's also guilty of perjury. McCabe was fired last March, citing the internal review that found McCabe lacked candor. That's FBI speak for lying. Of course, McCabe proceeded to insist he acted within his authority in authorizing FBI officials to talk to a reporter about an ongoing investigation surrounding the Clinton Foundation in 2016. Oh. But that wasn't the case and he knows it. Now, the slippery bureaucrat is looking to make a deal and get immunity before he winds up behind bars for his misdeeds. According to The Hill, Grassley has also invited Comey, as well as former Attorney General Loretta Lynch, to testify before the committee about the Clinton email investigation, sources told CNN. Both of them are in the crosshairs as well. President Trump has shredded McCabe publicly for donations to his wife's unsuccessful state Senate campaign in Virginia in 2015 from a group led by then-Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, d. a close Clinton family ally. It is a massive conflict of interest and McCabe should never have been made director of the FBI in the first place because of it. Trump has called for an investigation into McCabe and rightly so. McCabe brought the investigation into Clinton's misdeeds to a screeching halt, not because of her innocence but because the FBI was covering for her to keep her out of jail and to help get her elected. In April, McCabe stated that he planned to retaliate by suing Trump for defamation and was considering other charges. None of which ever materialized. When that threat did not produce results, McCabe decided to save his own hide. Smart move. I certainly hope this moves forward and produces results. Grassley has set the judiciary hearing for next Monday, but it could be delayed as the Inspector General's report is still not public yet. Sources familiar with the report describe it as a massive undertaking, walking through the events leading up to the 2016 election over roughly 500 pages. Some Republicans are saying it is being slow-walked so they can redact massive portions of the report. I hope that is not true. We need answers on this and soon. Let McCabe have his deal so we can scoop up bigger fish for the fryer here. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.